Every transaction in business has two sides. In accounting, we record both sides so that our books always stay in balance. This method is called double entry bookkeeping because each transaction is entered twice, once as a debit and once as a credit. A ledger account is shaped like a T. The left hand side is for debits, the right hand side for credits. Think of the debit side as what the business owns or spends and the credit side as what the business owes or gives away. This keeps the accounting equation in balance. Assets equals liabilities plus capital. Let's take an example. The business buys a computer for £500 cash. Now, what's happening here? The business is getting a computer, which is an asset. When an asset increases, we debit that account. So we record debit equipment account £500 because our equipment, or assets, have gone up. But at the same time, the business is paying cash. That means the cash the business owns is going down. When an asset decreases, we credit that account. So we record credit cash account £500 because the cash asset has reduced. Notice how one side increases and the other decreases, and the two amounts are the same. That's the key rule in double entry bookkeeping. Every transaction has two sides, and the total debits must always equal the total credits. You can see two T accounts side by side. On the equipment account, you write £500 on the left side, the debit side. On the cash account, you write £500 on the right side, the credit side. If you add up both sides, the total still balances. One debit, one credit, same amount. Paying utility bill increases expenses, debit expenses, and reduces the bank balance, credit bank. The business gains a new asset, office desk, so the asset account increases, debit. Bank, another asset, decreases, so it's credited. Drawings are money taken out by the owner. They reduce the owner's capital, so they are debited. The business takes loan from the bank, liability increases, credit, and receives cash, asset increases, debit. Selling goods increases sales revenue, credit, and increases the bank balance, debit. The business receives money, asset increases, debit bank, and the owner's investment increases capital, credit capital. To remember how each type of account behaves, it helps to understand what increases or decreases them. Debit side. Assets. When the business owns or receives something of value, we debit the asset account. Example, buying equipment or a vehicle. Expenses. When the business spends money or incurs a cost, we debit the expense account. Example, paying rent, wages or electricity bills. Drawings. When the owner takes money or goods out of the business, we debit drawings because it reduces capital. Example, the owner withdraws £500 for personal use. Credit side. Income or revenue. When the business earns money from sales or services, we credit the income account. Example, making a sale or earning service income. Liabilities. When the business owes money or takes on a debt, we credit the liability account. Example, taking out a loan or buying on credit. Capital. Owner's equity. When the owner invests money into the business, we credit capital because it represents the owner's claim on the business. Example, the owner invests £2,000 to start the business. In summary, debit increases assets, expenses, drawings. Credit increases income, liabilities, capital. Remember, every debit must have an equal credit so that the books always stay in balance.